the reason I asked so that when you say how to give ruqya to somebody so I gotta find out maybe he's not your brother he's not your son or husband or dad so in this case I would say you recite the ruqya verbally without, without touching that person because he's not your mahram so your brother-in-law is not your mahram so in his room when you're visiting him he can say As'alullah al-azim Rabb al-arsh al-azim an yashfiyat seven times this is ruqya Allahumma rabb al-nas adhib al-bas la shifa'a illa shifa'uk shifa'a la yugadru saqama this is ruqya the reason I'm not mentioning the meaning because I've discussed that repeatedly and for the sake of time there are other calls besides surah al-fatiha it is one of the greatest means of ruqya ayat al-kursi ruqya last three chapters which you guys call them the three calls ruqya if I'm doing this for my wife my wife was very sick yesterday, day before yesterday, so I recited Ruqya many times on her. So I put my hand on her forehead, on her head. She had a heart problem on the heart, and I pray for her. That is the Sunnah. Okay? You put your hand on the body part which is aching, then you recite the previous supplications. At al kursi as well, Al-Fatiha, Al-Mu'awwidhat. So these are all great means of Ruqya. Thank you.